One of the original engineers for Google, Chad Meng Tan, wrote a book called Search Inside Yourself back in 2012. And I read that book way back then. And I remember there was a certain technique that I learned in that book. He illustrates how to deal with your emotions and your thoughts, the ones that bring you down, or whenever you have a certain haunting memory, something that happened that was traumatic, emotionally traumatic that happened in the past, it still haunts you, and it barges in your mind out of nowhere, and it brings you down, and you find it hard to focus on accomplishing goals, and to raise your vibrational frequency, and, and keep that enthusiasm, that enthusiasm and excitement for life, and, and continuing manifesting desires. I remember there's a certain technique that I learned and recently today there was a certain event that happened that otherwise would have really uh, upset me but once it happened I remember this technique and I applied it in the moment and that's how I really learned what really works at least for me and that's why I like to share it in videos I get really excited and so today I, I, I apply this technique and what the technique is you simply imagine these whether it's something that happened recently, today, or something that happened a long time ago, sometimes certain things really barge in our mind. Certain thoughts and emotions happen almost seemingly out of nowhere, and it really can bring us down and take us down that downward spiral and make us lose focus and energy to manifest what we want in our life. And so Chad Meng Tan in the book Search Inside Yourself says to imagine these thoughts these hurtful thoughts and emotions as monsters and they are monsters right they're monsters and they want to bring you down so imagine you are he says to imagine you're simply hanging out at home by yourself and all of a sudden this monster barges in and your reaction really is to fight back and kick them out and he says that that's equivalent to feeding them snacks. That's what they want. They want your attention and they want you to be upset. They want you to be upset that they're there. And the more attention that you give them, the more snacks you give them, the more of a host you're being to them. That's what they want. And so the more of a reason they want to stay inside your house. And so the trick is to not try to force them out, not try to kick out those monsters out of your house, but at the same time, not feed them any snacks. So you know that they are in your house, yes, but at the same time, you're not going to pay them any kind of attention. You're not going to emotionally react. You're just going to ignore them, but not resist them. you not try to force them out of your house and not give them snacks. So eventually, once you ignore, you know that the monsters are there, but you're not giving them snacks. You're not paying them any attention. You're not reacting to them being there. Eventually, they're going to feel like you're not being a good host. You're no fun. I'm out of here. And so I try this technique where I started thinking these certain thoughts that started to upset me. And I remember these monsters. Oh, these monsters are coming in my house, into my head, trying to bring me down. I know that they're there. I'm not going to try to resist them. I'm not going to try to force them out of my head, out of my house. But I'm also not going to give them snacks. I'm not going to focus on them. I'm not going to allow them to bring me down like that. That technique really helped me bounce back. It really helped me keep my focus on what I want and helped me keep my vibrational frequency, my emotional state at a higher level than it otherwise would have been if I didn't apply this technique. That's why I wanted to share it with people. That book was really, really an interesting book to read. And that was one of the main parts of that book that I read, what, what was that, like five years ago. So... And also, what I really liked about this illustration about the monsters coming in your house and not trying to kick them out, but also not feed them snacks, it reminded me also of what I learned from Eckhart Tolle and Joseph Benner from The Power of Now, A New Earth, in Joseph Benner's book, uh, The Impersonal Life, that impersonal observation of not trying to resist your thoughts, not trying to resist what's going on, but impersonally observing is really what the key is. But this illustration from um, Search Inside Yourself really is a lot more of a clear instruction, at least for me, on what that means, impersonal observation. It, it's like allowing those, not allowing, but not trying to force those monsters out, but at the same time, not give them snacks. So that ha really helped me put it all together of uh, what that means to impersonally observe. Because it's really easy to fall into that trap to, to resist and try to force those thoughts out and try to force yourself to feel better. And sometimes that makes things worse. What you resist persists and grows stronger. So it's like a tricky and sticky situation. But try this illustration. Just imagine those thoughts, those emotions that are bringing you down, whatever they may be, that they're monsters, but don't feed them any snacks. Don't pay too much attention to them without trying to force them out. And you'll see, you'll notice that you'll, you'll feel better and you'll be able to continue on with your day and accomplish whatever you want and continue ma manifesting what you want in your life.